Can you tell us a little bit about the story and obviously working with an iconic character like Lara Croft? Yeah, there's there's this tomb, and she <laughs> raids it. it. Yeah, no, it, it, it's uh, it, it is uh, it's 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 sort of modern continuity Lara, so based on the the most recent game incarnation. So the young, sort of not yet fully formed Lara Croft, and uh, it's uh, sort of essentially a high octane contemporary world set thriller, real world. Uh, there is strangeness in it, but it's not as not as not as strange as all that. Um, and it fits securely into the continuity established by the first game and prior to the to the game that I believe is out next next year. Actually. Yeah. And she gets up to hijinks. Hijinks. Okay, you can elaborate on the hijinks at all. <laughs> um, and she travels, and she's and she follows clues, and she seeks out wondrousness. Yes. There are there are terrible villains and people who might be villains who aren't and allies who might actually be villains and and uh, yeah it, it it is very real world one of the things that Nick did in particular was was research that what might be described as the real world so that so that the uh, in sort of painstaking detail it's, yeah it was great fun the great fun yeah this, the, it, it suits her way, her method of working but there there is for example a um, a very exciting parkour sequence in uh, in uh, Paris. Uh, and we can assure you that every ledge, windowsill, roof, uh, ladder, and everything else that they're all there. They're all actually there. Um, so if you do parkour, yeah, feel free. <laughs> if I've been running on my own, I'd have just made that up. But no, <laughs> no, we don't make things up. Yeah. Well, we do make things no, up. Yeah. I mean, obviously, Lara Croft's uh, an iconic character, but she's often kind of reduced to. Um, some of the superficial traits and kind of dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth do you mean? <laughs> yeah, we've we've got um, daughters. Uh, in fact, we've got a we've got a daughter exactly Lara Croft at Croft's age, and who's just finished actually two years of dance training. So that came in incredibly handy for some of the fight sequences, choreographing that kind of thing. Um, but and also not for nothing, I've been a twenty-two-year-old woman, so I was actually quite keen to um, not mess with that stuff. She's a real, yeah. fully formed, feisty person. Yeah. First, and I think I think Lara Croft as a as a as a character has, has yes yes is sort of iconic and possibly sometimes for the wrong reasons. But but as, um, uh, the the current incarnation, I think one of the reasons that uh, it was rebooted in the last game is really about uh, making her a more realistic, believable, genuine character rather than a, an objectified thing. Yeah, but I don't, and that doesn't mean she can't be funny and sexy and yeah. all those things too, and I think the better for that. Yeah. 